We've just emerged from the two consultations with the primary school students and the secondary school students across both public and private schools across Barbados. Um, the sessions today were focused on giving students the opportunity to share some of their experiences and some of the challenges that they would have been experiencing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, some of the, the challenges in relation to approach to, to learning um, and also issues with connectivity and um, the access to devices. Generally the children um, enjoy the opportunity to engage at this level. Um, I know certainly my team as well have been, uh, enjoyed the opportunity to listen to them and to allow them to speak candidly about some of the things that are affecting them. Um, many of the students who attended are what we would consider student leaders in their respective institutions. Many of them have been selected because they are part of a student council they are head boys of the respective schools or head girls and they were able prior to today to, to solicit the views of some of the students across their respective schools. So we had a wide cross-section um, of um, views being shared and primarily at the primary level the major concern has really been that students want to return to school and I think it's fair to say that at the secondary level they want to return to school. It is not to say that the there are not good things that have come from being in a blended approach or an online environment but I think generally children are missing that interaction that face-to-face -face with the teachers um, many of them express that you know there are some households where it's very difficult for them to engage in the online environment um, there are lots of distractions whether it's parents the neighbors the noise in the background and it's making it very difficult for many of them to be able to concentrate um, as a consequence obviously they feel as though they're falling behind um, for the ones who are doing the 11 plus um, there was a lot of anxiety from them as well as the ones who are doing the um, CXC as well because in both situations they're being prepared every day for an examination at the end of their tenure um, at school and now in addition to all of the other pressures associated with exams they're now being asked to deal with a COVID-19 pandemic on top of that so there are lots of stresses and I, I sense are coming from our students um, and generally the feeling is that they would like to be able to return to a face-to-face -face environment. So generally I think that the, the children went away feeling a sense of um, inclusion, um, which I think is very important for them. Normally my consultations are with the unions, they're with the, um, the principals, they're with the teachers directly, um, they're sometimes with the parents, but oftentimes we forget that the children are the ones who are the main beneficiaries of education and if we get it wrong or we don't listen to them, um, then obviously they're going to feel a little bit disillusioned by the entire um, you know, experience of school. So it's important that they leave here feeling as though the ministry cares, the minister cares the government cares um, and that we're willing to you know modify some of what we've been doing to make the school system actually better for them some of the positives coming out of today was also the fact that there are some student councils at some of the schools there's some they're not some at others and I think many of them were inspired today because there's now a purpose for having a student council and having a voice so when we we completed the session today many of them wanted to go back to school either to start the student councils or at least to be able to spread the word to the students to get to solicit views so that in these types of forums they can continue to share with the ministry um, because I think they too have felt for a little while that the you know we were not listening and the adults in the population are not listening um, but today they got their opportunity to share the stage and, and share their views um, and I really am grateful for the schools for allowing them to participate and we will continue to engage with them um, not just in these types of forms but also in other forms as well